So this is the start of our low back motor control and strength subgroup. So these are the people that typically are really flexible. Palms flat on the ground, can back bend all the way, uh, hyper extend at your elbows, and you know that you're a flexible person. Maybe you have some tight muscles, but your joints are really flexible. So you can explore if a directional preference helps, but this is where you should spend the majority of your time with low back pain, okay? Um, so the key with this is that everything we do initially is gonna be neutral spine, and then you would progress to actually flexing through the spine extending through the spine and then rotating through the spine. Uh, and so if you just follow our playlist all the way along, that will help. I'm just gonna give you the bread and butter basics of a neutral spine and then we'll go from there. So ultimately for you, find the neutral spine that feels best for you. So by nature, most people in this group tend to be a little over archy and kind of hang out here and hang out here. So usually to get neutral, you're gonna have to tuck the pelvis under a little bit. Don't necessarily overcompensate and go all the way to the end range. So it's just that little tuck under uh, and make sure that your shoulders don't go back. So the, the best way to practice this is just laying on your back and you're gonna have a ton of mobility. And again, one direction might hurt you if your back is flared up. So just to it, but not through it with any pain, but you can go belt buckle down towards toes as much as you can, arching your back and then belt buckle up towards nose, flattening your back. And then you'll find the middle and then usually just air on the side of tucked under. And then really, pretty simple. Everything with, that we're doing with movement, the weight of your legs or your arms or the torques of external objects like bands or whatever are going to try to either uh, flex your spine down or usually mostly arch your back. And so when it's trying to arch your back, you're using your ab muscles and depending on the position, your glute muscles to not let that happen. So with any kind of leg lift activity, the weight of my leg would try to arch my back. So I'm using my ab muscles to not let that happen uh, no matter where where I'm going, the arms overhead would also add to that. So I'm trying to stay neutral spine. Now I'm not just absolutely flexing under all the way because we're trying to replicate neutral spine with activity, not, you know, John Wayne cowboy with activity. So neutral spine with that. And then you would just apply that in your other movement patterns. Same thing when I try to extend, it's trying to arch my back. I'm using um, my, uh, my ab muscles to not let that happen. Um, the other thing too, when you're switching side to side is we'll get this rotation of the pelvis. So you're trying to not let that happen. The idea is you're trying to do what we call uh, kind of lumbo pelvic and hip disassociation. So you're trying to move at your hip or your arms and the low back kind of stays neutral. Now this isn't normal movement in life. We want to stay neutral. We want to stay neutral. We want to flex when we want to flex. Um, so, but the idea is building a baseline of being able to do that and control it when we want and need to. Um, so that's kind of the basics on the neutral spine stuff. Go through our playlist and progress through on your strength challenge yourself more. Once you've made it through the whole neutral spine, then you can progress to actually moving through with some flexion and some extension and some rotation, uh, applying all those concepts. So the goal with this would be that you just feel like you're working your muscles, not flaring up your back pain, uh, and you just get stronger and that will serve you well long term. So it's great that you're gum being pretty flexible, but let's make sure that we're strong and we can learn to control that as well.